Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Are you concerned with meat shortages? They've been going on since the beginning of this uh, COVID coronavirus pandemic that began back in March. They've had a lot of problems with the processing plants were closed. Farmers were not able to take their animals to the processing plants because there was a failure in the, keeping the processing plants open. And even though our government tried to say farm workers, processing plants, those types of things were essential workers, there have been all kinds of glitches in the system of why food is still being in short supply, especially meat. And the meat that is available has increased dramatically in price. I don't think it's just in Alaska that the shortages and prices have gone up. I think it's probably all over America. The production of meat in the United States is only at 85% of what it was a year ago. However, they're also exporting substantially larger amounts to China. With reduced production and increased exports, there is just going to be less. Food banks have been handing out fresh meat and states have been stockpiling canned foods for an upcoming food shortage, which tells me I need to make sure that I go through the meats that I have in my stockpile and see what I have and if I need to get more. Maybe you've never stocked up on canned meats because it's not something that you choose to eat, but this might be a good time to try some of the canned meats, look them over and see what is available, what would I want to eat in an emergency, and if I couldn't go to the store or the meat counters were bare again, would I have something in my home that I could eat? Canned meats have a best by use by sell by date of several years, but I've never had one of them that wasn't good to eat, even when I've opened it many years past that date. Meat products tend to stay good in their can as long as there's no compromising on the can. Look the cans over when you buy them, make sure they're not dented. Some foods you may not even be aware that they come with a little key on the side. You need to make sure with something like corned beef that the key is there so that you can open the can when you need to. If you can't find the meats that you want, look for products that include meat. There are still a lot of options for things that you can get. Let me show you some of the meats that I have in my emergency and long-term food stockpile. And maybe there are things that you're interested in or things that you didn't know were there or something you want to consider stocking up for your family. But remember, any food you've never tried before, buy one, take it home and try it. If you like it, you can always go back and get more. If you don't like it, you don't want a big stockpile of something that you don't care to eat. That's a waste of your food storage dollars and your food prepping storage space. Tuna is probably the most common canned meat that most people buy. I know I have it in my stockpile because it's easy to open it up, add some mayonnaise, some chopped up sweet pickles and make a sandwich. You can add it into macaroni salads, even into pastas. There's lots of different ways to use tuna. Here's the problem that I found. I bought this Ankla Chunk Light Tuna in Water. It was basically the only one I saw at the time. I didn't realize until I got home, see with the little small print, it says textured soy. So even though this says tuna in water, the little tiny print tells you it's not just tuna. You need to shop carefully even if you think you're buying something that you've had before. You can also find tuna in a packet. They're great for your bug out bag. The packet is very sturdy and they hold up nicely. They come in all different kinds of flavored tunas as well. Look for those in your store if tuna is something that you like. Not everyone can live in Alaska, but you can all find salmon. Look for pink salmon in cans. You can also find it in the little pouches, just like the tuna. The pouches are also great in your bug out bag or to take with you for a grab and go meal. If you like fish and seafood, you can find kipper snacks, sardines. You can also find cans of shrimp, oysters, and mackerel. My favorite canned meat is chicken. I can find it in small cans and large cans. It's always been good. Every brand I've had has been delicious. Canned chicken can be added to all kinds of recipes that you would use fresh chicken to help make your meals complete. If you like beef, check out the Hereford brand, roast beef or corned beef. Hereford is a brand that is imported from Brazil. They're top quality products, they're delicious, but they can be more expensive. If you've ever lived anywhere like the Philippines, the Hereford corned beef in the Philippines is considered a pure delicacy.
Do you like ham? I have a stockpile of these little Hormel smoked hams and they're pretty good. They make like a DAC ham that's in a bigger can that's a larger size ham, but I have not found any of those available for several months, so I don't have any of those in my stockpile. Spam is not a joke, it's a meat that people really stockpile. And people who have gone through things like wars, depressions, or lived overseas really enjoy eating Spam because sometimes that was the only meat that they ever had available to them. Spam used to come in all kinds of different flavors like teriyaki, peppered, bacon flavored. I haven't found any of it available for months except the regular Spam, but I still found a can of teriyaki, so that one is going to be put away for a special occasion. You can also buy luncheon meats, luncheon loaves, different store brands. If you're a fan of Spam, a lot of people think those are just as good for less money, but if you're unsure, buy one, take it home and try it. Look over your cans when you bring them home. See how this one had a dent in it? Well, after I got home, I didn't realize this one had a dent in it, and after I got home and I pulled it out, and you can see this can is compromised. It's already open because it's been damaged. So this isn't any good. So I would hate to have put this away in my pantry and 10 years later, it's the last can of food in my pantry and it is no longer good to eat. If you can't find the meats that you want, look for products that include meat like chili, tamales, ravioli, beefaroni, different kinds of chilies, corned beef hash, beef stews pulled pork, sausage gravy. There are all kinds of options. Go around in the store, look up and down the aisles, and see if there's anything that appeals to you. Take it home and try it. If you like it, go back and get more. Look for chunky, hearty soups that include meats. Pub-style chicken pot pie, chicken noodle, chicken and sausage gumbo, spicy chicken quesadilla. But pay attention to some of them. They have very low calorie count. And if in an emergency all you have to depend on is your canned foods, you want to make sure that you're getting enough calories to feed your family. Look for soups that include beef, beef with country vegetables, steak and potato, hearty Italian wedding soup that has little meatballs in it, beef and vegetables. Be aware that some of them are very low calorie count. And while foods that are light in calories may be great if you're watching your weight, they're not necessarily your choice if in an emergency all you have is one can of food. Why am I dissatisfied with the Walmart click list where you order your foods online and pick it up around back? I had ordered several varieties of soups and when I went to pick them up they had substituted all of them for chicken noodle soup. I had not ordered any chicken noodle soup and then I had 24 cans of a soup that I didn't want. I tried to refuse it. I told them to take it out and they weren't very nice about it. And as you can see, I still ended up with some of them and the cans were dented. Other meals that you can find that would include meat would be ready meals, pouch meals, even the entrees that are in a dish that you heated in your microwave. Those are already prepared, ready to eat, just like a can of food. You can tear them open and eat them, even if you can't heat them up because they're fully cooked. The packets of food in the pouches and dishes don't have nearly the shelf life of a can of just meat. Mixed ingredients don't last anywhere near as long as single ingredients, so you need to rotate those through faster. They're great to put in your bug out bag, but they're not going to sit in your pantry for 10 years like a can of tuna. You can also look for meat in a jar, like chipped beef, look for jerky, ham spreads, Vienna sausages. There are lots of varieties of canned and packaged foods that are meat or include meat that can help you meet the varieties of foods that you want. You can even look for the Loma Linda products, which are meat substitutes, but they're very high quality proteins from the Seventh-day Adventist Church, which are vegetarian and have been making high quality delicious products for decades. If there's a favorite meat that you have and a way that you prepare it, leave it in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other and be better prepared for whatever comes our way. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.